Alright, I got the music going. Uh, I'm probably gonna take it off. I'm gonna I'm gonna completely take off the music uh, for the rest of this game. I'll probably do it right now, just because uh, copyright stuff, which doesn't make any, doesn't make any sense to me. But uh, yeah, I don't wanna I don't wanna get too many strikes on my little YouTube channel. Uh, but anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna play through Stalker Clear Sky, the second in the uh, Stalker series. I'm trying to play through all these. Uh, before Stalker 2 comes out, just for fun. Even though, I'm pretty sure, like, nobody's gonna watch this at all, but it's something to do, you know? So, turn the music off, because YouTube likes to copyright things all the time. Uh, I would, if you're playing this game for the first time, uh, I would probably do Novice or Stalker. Veteran and Master is really hard. I'm just trying to have fun, so I'm going to play, some, play it on Novice. Because as far as I remember, the first game was actually kind of difficult on the easiest difficulty. So I'm pretty sure this this is uh this is the same. It's in it's the same on the in the same boat on the same boat. It's the same situation. And uh, yeah, but this is uh, definitely my favorite soccer game out of the the three that are out right now. So I'll shut up and you can watch the intro. We have nothing to worry about. According to our research, the next emission will not occur for at least two months, four days, and seven hours. Its intensity will be three on the Bergman scale, which is Without going into detail, I must say I have never seen anything like this before. The encephalogram suggests serious damage to the nervous system, but the other indicators couldn't be better. It's... it's astounding. Perhaps it has something to do with the emission. Most certainly, although so far I've been utterly unable to formulate a rational explanation for this other one. God knows what, basically. You're away. That's good. Welcome back to the world of the living, Stalker. How are you feeling? My head's spinning. It's spinning too. Uh, basically, I'm in real good shape. Do you remember what happened to you? Okay, I remember leading expedition through the swamps, a bunch of scientists, then the mission. That's it. Where am I? Is this heaven? And why does it look so much like the zone? <laughs> In the joking mood, eh? That bodes well for your recovery. I'm Lebedev, the group leader, and I'm responsible for everyone here. That includes you, for as long as you're here. We call ourselves Clear Sky, and you are in our base right now. We picked you up in the swamps after the mission. I like these little cursors in this game. I don't know why they don't do that more. Maybe it's too high demand on the uh, software shit. Lucky? Mm, I doubt Hardware. It. The facts are these. You survived the emission. 
That's the first thing I still can't explain. The second thing is that our patrol found you in the swamps, which are essentially endless quicksand. And thirdly, you nearly got torn into shreds by a pack of pseudo-dogs, but our boys got you out just in time. Such a chain of events tells me it's more than just luck. Anyway, I need to finish I what I'm doing. One. So let's continue this conversation later. Okay. Let's continue this conversation later. Later, Dude, so... Uh, I used to not be able to run this game, like, at all. And for, you know, 2000... For this game coming out in 2008, it looks pretty fucking good. Talk to the bottom man. Besides that, that part. There's little things like that. I mean, it's not a huge deal. Because the entire, the rest of the game, this is an open world game. It's pretty fucking big too. Uh, that, this is the map. 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 I don't know if you can actually go over here. I think you can actually. Uh, maybe not. But I know you can go to all these places right here. All the way down here. Pretty fucking big game. <gasps> but uh, as I was saying with the graphics, I wasn't able to run this game even on the e uh, lowest settings. Right now it's maxed out on my PC because, you know, it's 2020 and, you know, uh, technology is where it's at. And it's a lot more affordable to be able to run this fucking game on uh, max settings. So you guys don't know anything about this uh, series, uh, just to sum it up, I won't go into like a bunch of crazy lore and everything, but basically you're what is called a stalker, and you're looking for these artifacts in the zone, which is basically like a Chernobyl area that's been all fucked up by radiation. Uh, one sentence, uh, stalker is Russian, no. Stalker is Ukrainian Fallout. For, like, very basically, but it's nothing like Fallout. Uh, I mean, if you want to get really into it, there's a movie called Stalker that was based off a book called uh, Roadside Picnic, I think it's called. And that's where this whole, like, story and setting uh, came from. But, uh, yeah, this game series is super fucking cool, I think. I really like it. And Stalker 2 is coming out. It was just announced at the Xbox Showcase. I guess uh, Microsoft and Xbox is funding it uh, from a GSC Game World. But anyways, yeah, let's just play the fucking game. No, Jesus Christ. Shut the fuck up. These guys laying inside of each other. Inside of the other guy. Look who we got visiting our swamps. You sure are a wolf oh, yeah. of the whole reason. Air. Shut up. The whole reason why stalkers come out into this zone to begin with is to get these artifacts that you can sell for lots and lots of money. They're basically basically like uh, uh, radiation pirates in a way. Or explorers, whatever. Collectors, whatever the fuck you want to call it. I see you. Just a minute. Hello, Mark. You became quite a legend while you were out of it. Even you wouldn't believe some of the rumors I've heard. <laughs> Anyways, here's a drink on the house for a lucky son of God. It should help you relax and tell me about your adventure. Oh, there's that copyright music in the just background. Dying of curiosity. Yeah, I got copyrighted last time when I played through the first game from a radio, from in-game radio music. It was fucking bullshit. But I mean, I guess. I think I heard of that happening to like GTA uh, people. But you think this game would have this generic music would be like copyright free? But who the fuck knows? I'm, I'm not an expert on that. There's not much to tell. I was leading a group of scientists through the swamps when an emission hit. I remember nothing after that. I regained my consciousness here. So now you tell me what happened. Well then, you drink and I'll tell you about this place. It used to be pretty quiet. We had the paths worked out, the right places explored, and the approach covered. Of course, the swamps ain't exactly spring break material, but it wasn't too bad either. Yeah, it wasn't too bad until the last emission. The biggest we've ever seen. 
These days our boys pray both to God and the devil before going out of the base. Because getting back alive is a miracle in its own right. But we're managing to hold it together. Because our guys ain't here for loot. They're fighting for a cause. I was collecting bottles one after another and they let me here. <laughs> I'm kidding, man. The uh, truth is, there was no place for me in that other world. He didn't want me. In the end, I came here. First to the zone, and then to Clear Sky. The guys here are all right, and I need it here. They come back here after a mission, I pour them a drink, tell a few dirty jokes, and my job is done. Simple, but effective. By the way, they call me Cold around here. Cold. Um, about this place, would you give me a clue as to where we are? In our base. As you can see, it's a small, sinking farmstead in the middle of romantic, endless swamps. I couldn't tell you where it is exactly, but it's the last place in the zone where you can meet real people. Guys who won't screw you, stab you in the back or let you bleed to death to save a med kit. I'm no stranger to this zone. I've played the last game. Yet I've never heard about Clear Sky. How do things work here? You know why you've never heard of it? Because too many people want to know about it. And the fewer that do, the better. Lebedev is our leader. The man is a rock if ever I've seen one. He's the glue that holds our whole group together. Then there's Binpolev. Professor Binpolev. He's like a walking encyclopedia and a calculator in one. He knows more about the zone than... Well, anyway. Our technician's called Gray. He can make you a rifle out of an empty can with ammo to boot. He could use some spears, but uh, apart from that. And finally, we have Suslov. He's a traitor, but he ain't like the others of his trade. He won't try to rip you off or screw you. Call. He knows what Leave stuff is going on. I need to see that. him. Well, brother, if Libedev says he needs to see you, that ain't up for a discussion. Go on, I'll catch you later. See well, you. Next see time call. you're at the swamps, don't be a stranger. Alright, so, hey, look at that little stalker energy drink. Look who we got so I eat pretty tired. But, uh, so, there's factions in this game. Press P, you can go to your PDA. Uh, there's another button. There are no, there are not a member of, you are, oh, I'm dumb. You are not a member of any faction. Here are all the factions under statistics. Uh, there's duty, freedom, the bandits. Uh, the Stalkers, Renegades, for some reason I don't remember. We're, maybe, oh, we're like completely enemies with them. Maybe that's why I don't remember, maybe we just kill them off right away, I can't, it's been a very long time. My Steam account says I haven't played this game since 2012, I think it said. Clear Sky, that is, uh, these ones. Uh, these guys are cool, they have cool armor and stuff you can buy from them later, but yeah, there's factions. Uh, a like, uh, friends, enemies system. Uh, I mean, for 2008 and 7, like the first game had so, uh, such, uh, a system like this. Uh, pretty fucking ahead of its time. I always thought these games were super fucking cool, you know? And there's mutants and shit in this game. Uh, you know, buy this game, you know? Play this game. Or at least, at least watch these videos if you don't want to play through it. And then get ready for the second, uh, Stalker 2 coming out. Uh, I think it said 2021, but that's, I think it's a launch title for the new Xbox. And you're going to be able to play it on PC too, because it's going to be Xbox Game Pass on PC. So that's cool, yeah. So yeah. Oh, look at this. Before I talk to this guy real quick. You can head. This little doggy. What up, dog? Got some fresh air? You look better, that's for sure. Let me fill you in on this situation. You're in the clear sky base. Don't try to remember who we are. You've never heard of us, and there's a very good reason for that. Our mission is to research the zone. We believe that the zone must be studied and understood so that humanity knows what it is facing here. Understanding is the key to coexisting with the zone. Because if you think about it, the zone is the most wondrous phenomenon humanity has been confronted with in its entire history. Uh, why are you hiding? As I said, we are researchers. We are trying to figure out the nature of the zone, determine the reasons which caused it to appear, and formulate the rules that govern its existence. 
We are not consumed by a quest for money. We don't seek fields of artifacts, and we're not interested in turf wars with other factions. That is why we're hiding here in the swamps and concentrating on our research. Our forte is not combat, but knowledge. Knowledge of the zone, accumulated over years of research. We know more about it than stalkers and the government combined. And our research was finally shaping up into a sound, coherent picture until the massive emission a few days ago. What was so peculiar about it? We've had emissions before. No, that emission was incredibly no. powerful. It was on a level of its own. It was like a hurricane that swept the whole zone, changing it. Everything is different. The well-known and relatively safe areas have become highly radioactive and full of anomalies. But now, you can access parts of the zone that have been unreachable for years. Even the most hardened stalkers don't know what awaits them on their favorite path. The other thing that changed is people, and that became evident right away. The emission destroyed the fragile balance between factions, and they're now warring for territory. In other words, many strange things have happened, and I don't yet fully understand the scale of these changes. It's only been a few days since the emission. If you ask me, the strangest thing of all is that you managed to survive it. It's because I am the main character. If I knew how I survived, I'd tell you in a second, but I don't remember anything. That's not why, either. There's actually a reason. I see. How can I help you? I better leave. I'm pretty beat up, but I can still walk and hold a gun. How do I get out of here? Getting out of here isn't easy, not by a long shot. The swamps are a real maze of reeds and radioactive quicksand, swarming with terrible monsters and human scum. And I don't know which is worse. Only a guide can lead you safely out of here. We only have a handful of them. Guys I would trust with my life without a second thought. Unfortunately, it's not that simple. Because if I let you go, our presence here might not stay a secret for long. Ah, I feel like some kind of Epstein Island situation is happening here. What are you trying to say? We are having a very tough time here recently. The emission reduced the number of anomalies in the swamps, which made the area easily accessible for bandits and other vermin. There are so many of them, they'll be setting up camp in our base soon if we don't do something about it. The problem is that we're not really the fighting type, so we've been steadily losing ground. But you, one look at you, tells me you're a pro in that sort of thing. This is the second outpost. We're Your under attack. I repeat, we're under attack. Of Help. Many of them. That's enough chit chat. There's been another attack on our outpost. Help us fight it off. If it makes any difference, some of the boys who saved you are there right now. You still remember how to survive in the zone? Yeah. Great. Get over to the trader, and he'll fit you out with some basic equipment. Let's go. Let's do this. I'm ready. Ready to kill some shit. This guy looks cool. Clear sky guys with the Roger that. hoods look cool. Ah, I went the wrong way. Can I go? Oh, I'm dumb. My bad. Is it there? I'll be right there. At last. Ah. Here, take this basic equipment kit. It's designed specifically for patrol missions. Thanks. Hey, is it always this stressful I've been ordered here? to issue you some equipment. There's no time for yeah, questions. Yeah, I agree. I'm done talking. Let me do some shit. Uh... What you need, stalker? I'm ready. Let's go. Alright, I'll blindfold you until we get there. Yep. Yep. Epstein shit. Don't... Yep. If you tell anyone, no one will believe you. Mark. There are anomalies ahead. Be careful. Remember, don't move until you've thrown a bolt in front of you. Thrown a bolt in front of me? Oh, by the way, you can sometimes find artifacts in anomalies. You can't see them, but detectors spot them easily enough. If you get close enough, your detector will indicate the location of the artifact, and then you just pick it up easy as pie. Keep in mind that your current detector isn't exactly top of the line. It only shows the distance to the artifact. Run for the 
tower. The monsters can't get you there. Monsters! You, you, you're right on time, bro. I'm real low on ammo, so oh. let's make the best of it together. All right, bro. I want to save this ammo. It's my pistol ammo. That'll take forever. Attention all fighters. Any mission is approaching. Get to cover now. Oh, Look, you. This count as cover? Oh, shit. Sorry, bro. But I'm gonna take your stuff. Whoa, this game looks crazy. All those birds are fucking dead. I tried. Damn, I don't remember any of this fuck. I remember this game kinda, but I don't remember any of, any of that at all. I'll probably make each one of these videos parts like an hour long, I guess. I can't, I feel like I'm forget. I forgot to tell tell you guys something that's pretty important. Look at that. Yeah, this game has lots of glitches. This game's really famous for its glitches. They're, sometimes they're pretty hilarious. That one's kind of kind of lame. There's way cooler ones. There's ones with like bandits like spinning around in the air, like freaking out and exploding and shit like that. Like it's pretty cool. You're with us again. Yes. Glad to see you. Oh, welcome, guest from foreign lands. What come you with? A bursting purse? A prized exotic wonders? Neither, unfortunately. I got hit by an emission and barely survived. Totally empty now. The emissions. The emission seems to have scattered all my goodies all over the swamps. Yeah, I heard your story. I reckon the main thing is that you're still alive. Stuff is easy enough to replace, as long as the zone is kind to you. So, you gonna trade, or you got some questions for me? Yeah, yeah, even at the swamps in a hush-hush joint like this one, there's a place for a trader. What do you know? That's the sort of people we are. You can't buy an extra 15 minutes of life. Or a spare store from death. But us traders are needed everywhere. Even in the zone. Even in the swamps. And even underground. It's an illusion that the zone is under lock and key. And the army has all the like ways in and out well. sealed. And think about it. <laughs> Let's not talk about it. You have no idea how tired I am of peddling these trinkets. There's a ton of ordinary artifacts out there. But the best tip is past the this limited place selection. Uh, who knows? Maybe stalkers have already found everything there is to find. Man, getting behind the scorcher would be a dream. I heard you can get enough artifacts there to last you a lifetime. Uh, provided your life doesn't end there, then. It's about time us traders joined forces and used our connections to find a way of getting past that thing. You aren't done looking in that direction. Yeah, I know. Anyway, listen, I told you too much as it is. Time is money. You got you something for me? Yeah, you helped us out good, buddy. Here's your reward. Item received. Flash drive with data on super light Kevlar body armor. Got something for me again? Good luck to you. Alright. Looks like he's selling uh, everything that you can find right now outside of the, uh, you know, in the, in the zone. On the map. Damn, this game looks fucking crazy good. People who are new to this game, they probably think I'm retarded and think this is, uh, looks like shit. And then just thinks I'm retarded. Uh, I'll probably end it right here. It seems like it's been decent, decently long so far. I totally forgot to say something about this game that I really wanted to tell you guys. But I can't remember. Maybe I maybe I'm just tired. But anyways, yeah. Uh, uh see you guys in the next video. If anyone's even watching this.